We have. Um, it's very funny. Did you hear rumors that you were signed to YBNL at some point? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. You did. <laughs> You're definitely not signed to YBNL. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> was there a moment that that was in in conversation? Um. Well, if if Olami Day gets to hit me up, I definitely, you know, I got the the thoughts you know that okay maybe he wanted to sign me mm-hmm. but you know that's not what happened okay but you were on his album yeah you were on two songs on yeah. his album how did that happen um i guess when um not signing is out of <laughs> is out of it the mm-hmm. next thing is you know um Olamide well, just really, I think he just really loved my sound. Okay. You know, he said that, you know, you have something and keep going. You know, he like encouraged me and stuff. So we were talking and he just said he was back in the country and, you know, I should come. And then I, I got to his place and, you know, he was recording in the studio. And I, I you know, Pom Pom was playing. Yeah. yeah Eskis was playing Pom Pom. And, you know, he was like, what do you think about this song? And in my mind, I'm like, what do you mean? What do I think about this song? <laughs> are you are you kidding me? And uh, yeah, the song is dope. Do you want me to be on the song? So, you know, we just vibed. And I was like, okay, I can give a response back to Pom Pom. And, you know, I did my verse. And, you know, the song... The song was so crazy that he said, okay, let's do it. Let's do a second one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we did the second one. He said he wanted, like, a Caribbean vibe and went in that direction. And, you know, before the end of the day, there were two finished songs. And um, I think a couple weeks later, he just said, you know what? Your songs are going to be, you know, on the album. What would you say was the turning point moment for you? How did you move from Instagram singer to fave? Um, I think it was after um, MBU freestyle video went viral. Um, I sort of saw the need to be more structured, you know, be more deliberate with the things I was doing as an artist. You know, I started to learn more about branding as an artist, um, getting to connect with people. Um, basically, how stuff works, really. Um, and. Um, that was when I, you know, we, we got together from the team, you know, got our own label, Tumblr, and um, that was when we put out beautifully and, you know, we started from there. It was a different story from, from then onwards. Uh, what is the highlight of your career right now, as it is now? What would you say has been, like, one of the most unforgettable moments for you? Um, I guess it would be that um, I kind of, my, my confidence got, you know, got boosted yeah um i used to be very very afraid before getting on stage Mm -hmm. um because i'd be like what if people don't know my song what if people don't know me and they're looking at me funny what if i make mistake with my lines and stuff like that Mm -hmm. but when um baby rhythm started picking up and i started going to shows you know all that stage fights, you know, just kind of disappeared. Left, disappeared. Like, I oh. was one with the crowd, you know, it was Levels. like, yeah, you know, they, it's like they love the song and I, you know, what they want to see is for me to, you know, perform the song. So it kind of just makes me comfortable, you know, that's what, you know, the car, I think that's like a very, very notable thing because thing I about used it. to be very, very afraid. Yeah, serious and anxiety. I, I, yeah, I think an, another thing would be you know, people play my music in other countries. Yeah. It's not it's not something that I have experienced before, so that's completely amazing. Okay.